you ever think you'd be sitting here 50 years later? About 50 years later. <laughs> yeah, a long time ago. It was really simple at that time. I mean, I, I had never made a payroll ever in my life. I did leave for three years, took another job. And on my way home that day, I called my son and I said, I just quit the best job I'll ever have. Anthony and Kay, we're here to document a milestone in your careers, 50 years in uh, manufacturing, the best horse trailers in America. But well, we'd like to hear how you started it, what motivated you to start the business, uh, what your thoughts were in the beginning 50 years ago. My dad owned and ran Chickasha Manufacturing Company, and he made parts for the existing trader companies that were in Chickasha. And at some point, he decided uh, if we were making the parts for the other companies to go ahead and manufacture horse traders. In that little small building, I think we maybe had two or three stalls building trailers. Of course, it was steel trailers when you started. Steel, they were all steel traders. I don't think that was an easy transition. No, 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 it was hard. We had to, to basically phase out all the steel. I remember at one time we were loading trailers on the, uh, at the railroad, putting them on a, one of those flat cars on the railroad, shipping them out. I think we shipped them to California. My gosh, you sold a horse trader, two horse steel trader back in 68, what was it, three or four hundred dollars, five hundred? Six hundred and fifty dollars, I believe, and that had two-tone paint. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was 11, 10 or 11 when I started. I drove Dad crazy till he finally handed me a broom and I started sweeping floors and cutting parts and whatever I could get Dad to let me do. I think I think I was 16 the day that you came out in the shop and you said, okay, it's time to pack it up. You got to come up front. <laughs> and I think you dragged me to the front office. Kind of a down, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a bummer. It's amazing we still have trailers going down the road sometimes. We have people that will call for parts trailers, I mean, in the know, 80s, in the 80s. Yeah, the 80s are the fun phone calls because they want parts and we're just like, you know, <laughs> this trailer's 40 years old. I'm Anthony Hart. Behind me is a restored 1970 Hart Trailer. Hart Trailer was founded in 1968, 50 years and going strong. Seven, you come up to me and said, I was running press breaks. You said, can you run the trim shop? And I said, yeah. I never trimmed a trailer in my life. <laughs> but I didn't want you to know that, and I went over and started trimming it. 2004, when I asked you if I could marry her, and you told me, yeah. And I remember then I had a boss at home and a boss at work. <laughs> but it's been great. <laughs> We have a lot of employees out there who've been there a lot of years. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons they're there is because you've always took care of them and Tracy's continued to take care of them. And Without them, you don't have anything. My name's Andy Gifford. Uh, I've been here 17 years. Everybody knows me by Chewy. You gotta work here for uh, almost 15 years. Randy Bozart, been here about 14 years. My Graham, 21 years. My name is Ezekiel Alvarez, and I've been here 12 years. I've been here 15 years, going on 16 in October, so quite a while. Malcolm McConnell, I've been working here 30 years. It's a good job. People are like family. My name is Berlin Avey, and I've been here for about three and a half years now. Everybody's ready to help you can step up and make sure that we get the jobs done. We build these trailers from the ground up. Each individual piece we build by hand here. My name is Armando Alvarado. I've been here about 15 months. 
you gotta have a daughter who's sick, whatever you have to go out for any reason, they'll let you go, you know, in other places that they don't. My name is Eulalio Mendez, and I've been working here for 10 years. They always, you know, I try to do my best, and whatever I do, you know. Nice people, nice people over here, like a family over here. Amanda Williams, and I've been out here at Trailer for about four and a half years now. One of the most memorable moments I remember in the early years was uh, Kay and Anthony had made the decision to start to manufacture the aluminum trailer. And the day the first aluminum trailer rode off this lot was, it just, I just can't describe how great a feeling that was when we saw that first one go off the lot. Nothing stands out to this moment, maybe when I scared Amanda and she blowed her chips. <laughs> Probably Randy scaring me when I came around the corner and I had Doritos in my hand and I kind of threw a leg at him and tried to kick him. <laughs> Dana Hollowell and I'm shy two weeks of 17 years. It's a great company. Uh, I enjoy coming to work every day. Uh, my name's John and I've been here for three years. It's a good place to be, good company. I like my boss, if she's listening. <laughs> Carl Timmons, 17 years. I started here right after high school. I've been here ever since. I've worked at three different other trailer companies. I've been building trailers for 35 years. So it's by far the best trailer built. It's a real good trailer. It's one of the best ones made. They really like everything. It's real meticulous and they make sure that anything that's done, it's done right. Quality wise and structure wise, it's the best product on the road. We work hard, we take our job seriously, but we always have fun. It's like hanging out at a family reunion sometimes. We care about what each other's doing in their personal lives, but uh, it's a very relaxed uh, atmosphere to work in. We actually care about the trailers that we're putting on the road. I have horses and I haul myself, so that's really, really important to me. We're all pretty much tight-knit. We care about each other. You come in here and everyone's I mean, like your brothers almost. It's very much a family atmosphere. Um, a lot of the a lot of the guys that work here have known each other for a really long time. Some of us are actually family, so uh, it's a great atmosphere to work in. The owners, they're uh, good people. They care for, for their employees. They care for their family. And that's why a lot of people that work over here for so long are here. Can you remember how many employees you had when you started? Yeah, there's maybe six or seven employees is what six or seven. we had, yeah. You know, the employees are like family. We all are like a big family, but it's so is the customers that we take care of. It's not uncommon to have someone have two, three or more trailers, art trailers in their, mm -hmm. in their life. There's a lot of people today that will have two or three at a time. And your grandkids are pulling a heart trailer. They are. Wearing the heart logo on their shirts when they're roping. Yeah. No, I truly am very blessed for what I get to do every day, and I know that. And to have a company with parents that have done what they've done and been able to build and to get to continue that. People talk about childhood smells or, you know, sounds, and I mean, it was where I grew up. It's what I've always wanted to do. I mean, when I walk in that shop, it's like, it's like my second home. You know, the good Lord knows where to put us and where we need to be in life. And he knew that was where I belonged. You think we'll see another 50 years? I hope so. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs>